What's up everybody, it's your boy Adrian and today I will show you on how to make a title block sa ating AutoCAD. So in this case, this will be a basic uh, title block kasi we're going to use only a long band paper and we're going to have our uh, small sizes. So in this case, ito yung gagawin natin na um, title block and meron na tayong specific sizes. Okay? So this will be our output na gagawin natin tapos uh, ilalikin na natin sa AutoCAD para magamit natin for our uh, CAD works, okay? But before we proceed to our video, I'm asking for your support by subscribing to my YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button in the bottom of our, of our video here. And if ever that you want to be updated on the videos that I will release is make sure that you click that notification bell and select all to be updated, okay? So, let's proceed to our AutoCAD. But before we proceed, we are going to uh, remember that every details here will be discussed um, uh, every part and also I will show you on how to make this one easier, okay? Uh, kasi uh, meron kasi mga baguhan na di pa gaanong gamay yung uh, title block. So, tuturo natin yan now, okay? So, First na una natin gagawin is gagawa muna tayo ng ating uh, paper size. So how are we going to determine the paper size? So isa-search natin yung sukat ng long band paper. So ang long band paper is 8.5 by 13 inches, okay? 8.5 inches by 13 inches. So i-convert natin to into centimeter kasi uh, ito yung common na uh, scaling na measurement para sa ating mga floor plan, okay? So, i-convert natin yung inches into uh, centimeter. So, yung ginawa kong title block. So, ang sukat na ating long band paper is 33.02 centimeter by 21.59 centimeter. So, by that, ano ang una natin gagawin? So, gagawa tayo ng ating rectangle na may sukat na nabanggit, okay? So, by that, we're going to have REC or rectangle. So, remember, ang una mo nating itatype is yung, yung x-axis and then yung susunod naman nating itatype is yung y-axis. x-axis and y-axis. Okay? So, ang x-axis natin dito is yung pahiga. So, ano yung sukat ng pahiga? Ang sukat ng ating pahiga is 33.02 cm. So, i-disregard na lang natin yung, 30, yung cm. So, magpo-focus lang tayo sa mga numerical value. So, 33.02 sa x-axis and sa right axis is 21.59. So, by that, itatype natin yung x-axis. So, ang x-axis natin is 33.02. Okay? So, we have our x-axis. So, para magkaroon naman tayo ng size sa ating y-axis is i-press nyo lang yung tab button and i-specify na natin kung ano yung um, height ng ating paper o yung ating y-axis. So, ang y-axis natin is 21.59. So, finally, ito yung ating uh, paper. So, ito pala yung para papel. Parang, we're going to imagine na ito yung uh, laki ng papel na ipiprint natin. So, for example, this is a long band paper. So, ang susunod naman natin gagawin is mag-offset tayo ng ating mismong margin. Kasi yung una pa lang natin ginawa is yung papel mismo. So, after yung papel, dun pa lang tayo gagawa ng ating uh, margin or yung uh, title block itself. So, sinasabi dito na kailangan daw natin mag-offset ng 1.22 to the left, 1.22 downward, 1.22 upward, and 1.22 uh, left side. Okay? So, mag-offset daw tayo ng 1.22. So, by that, gagamit tayo ng command na O for offset. So, we have the O. Enter. So, enter ulit. Or space bar. So, i-click natin to. And mag-offset tayo ng 1.22 uh, sa loob. Okay? So, to type natin is 1.22. So, bakit 1.22? Because in our title block, gumawa ako ng sukat which is 0.5 inches. So, kung i-convert natin yung 0.5 inches 
into centimeter, magkakaroon tayo ng 1.22 centimeter. Okay? So, 1.22 centimeter and enter. And another enter para matapos na yung command. So, by that, ito na yung ating uh, ating margin. So, by that, ang susunod naman natin gagawin is gagawa daw tayo ng offset pataas. So, mula dito sa line na to, mag-offset daw tayo ng 2 centimeters. So, paano tayo mag-offset kung ito ay nakasolid line? In this case, dito na natin gagamitin yung command na explode. So, how, how are we going to use the explode? So, una mo natin gagawin is, select natin to, and we're going to use the command x for explode, and then enter. So, explode one found. So, kapag kinlik natin to, isang object na lang siya. Okay? So, kung mag-offset daw tayo ng 2 cm pataas. So, ang gagawin natin, isa-select natin to, itong baba, and we're going to have O for offset. So, another enter. So, dito natin itatype yung sukat na gusto natin. So, ang gusto natin is 2 cm. Okay? 2 cm, and then enter. So, di pa tayo tapos. Dahil dito naman tayo sa mga every uh, vertical line yung ating A offset. So, una daw nating i-offset is from the left side. Mag-offset tayo ng uh, 5 cm. So, by that, select natin to And mag-offset tayo ng 5. So, 5. Ang susunod naman natin gagawin is mag-offset daw tayo. Mula dito sa line na to kanina, offset tayo ng 7.5. So, by that, select this one ulit. And 7.5 based on our dimensions. Okay, so ang susunod naman is uh, from this line ulit, yung katatapos lang, mag-offset tayo ng 3 cm. So by that, we're going to have this one and mag-offset tayo ng 3. So after ng 3, mag-offset ulit tayo mula dito na may sukat na 5 cm. So after ng 5 cm, another 5 cm, and then yung 5.07 is... Uh, hindi naman gaano eksakto. Kung baga, kung ito yung after neto, kung ano yung matitira is ito na yung haba niya. Okay? So, mag-offset tayo ng 5. Dalawa. So, unang 5. And another 5. So, after nung another 5, this is our title block. So, enter na natin siya. Ang susunod naman natin gagawin is itong mga sobra na line sa taas is ititrim natin siya para yung nasa ibabang lay, ibabang portion ng yung matitira. Okay? So, by that, we're going to have TR to trim and double enter para select lahat and then select the part na gusto nating tanggalin or putulin. Okay? So, ang susunod naman natin gagawin is iibay natin yung ating uh, line weight kasi in AutoCAD, ito ay naka-default yung ating uh, line weight. Pero, Sa mga ibang tao, ang title block kasi is medyo makapal yung line para sa ating title block. So, in this case, iibahin natin yung line weight itong uh, part na to. Okay? So, iibahin natin yung line weight na to. And also, ito I think, yan, itong limang linya na yan. Yung limang linya na yan, iibahin natin yung line weight. So, paano? So, Kung nakikita niyo yung cursor, pumunta tayo sa ating properties. And sa properties, meron tayo makikita na parang uh, line weight. So, yung line weight ang pipiliin natin. So, let us click this one. So, naka uh, default siya as by layer. So, ang pipiliin natin para sa thickness, ne para sa thickness neto is 0.7 millimeters. So, escape natin. Dahil na iba na natin to. So, kapag isi-select natin yung uh, na iba natin, lilitaw dito na yung naging line weight nito is 0.7 millimeters. Okay? So, after ng ating title block itself, dito naman tayo sa ating text. Okay? So, paano natin magagawa yung text na ito? So, una-una natin gagawin is we're going to have T for text. And, as you can see, masyadong malaki. So, kayong uh, makakonfuse. So, ganoon talaga siya. Dahil ang sukat ng default sa AutoCAD is 2 uh, 
2.5 I think. So, i-click natin to. Gagawa lang tayo ng parang text box. After that, uh, ang gagawin natin is, i-buy natin yung suwat. So, since ito ay naka 2 uh, cm yung ating thickness ng ating title block, pwede natin uh, i- uh, gawing mas mababa sa 1 yung value ng ating font size kasi para maliit siya ang kalalabasan. So, pwede natin itry yung 0.25. So, after that, ang pipiliin natin is naka-centered. So, dahil dito sa ating uh, ating title block sa loob is naka-centered. So, pipiliin natin itong centered. So, yan. Susunod is i-extend natin to. Oops, ulitin natin kasi nawala. So, gawa ulit tayo ng text box. So, ibahin natin to. Gawin natin point 0.25. And then, make it center. So, after na center, click niyo yung uh, lower right. Para maiba yung height ng ating text box. And after that, pwede, pwede na tayo dito mag-type na ating uh, context. So, Bulacan State University, for example. So, in this case, masyado malaki. So, ang gagawin natin is, i-resize -re natin to sa, sa size na magiging fit siya. Okay? So, let's try point 15. So, maybe is fit na siya. So, Bulacan State University, College of Engineering. Tapos, nasa baba is Electrical Engineering Department. Okay, so after we got this uh, text, ang susunod naman natin gagawin is ibahin natin yung ating font. Kasi in this case, iba yung font sa ating uh, sample dito sa ating AutoCAD. So by that, ang ginagawa ko is select all, so control A, and ibahin natin yung font dito. So ang ginagamit ko na font is what what they call DIM or D-I-M, so D. So ito yung little, yung DIM. So you can click this one, and... As you can see, same na sila, kagaya nung sa ating sample. Okay? So, after this one, imumove natin to ng medyo centered. So, holding the shift kasi naka-ortho mode tayo. Ayan. So, itansya nyo lang kung saan yung gitna. So, ito, nakagitna na siya, I think. Ang susunod naman natin gagawin is, kukopyahin natin to. Ayan. Let's copy this one. Dahil dito na naman natin ilalagay yung name ng kada member. So, let me adjust this one. So, pag adjust move nyo lang. So, select nyo muna and then move. Then, medyo i-ano nyo lang. Tansya nyo lang. So, for example, we have four members sa group. So, for example, we got the name, another name, another name. Another name. Then, gusto nyo na maglagay ng section. So, dalawang uh, enter para magkaroon dito ng, ano, ng space. And then, we can type the section. For course year section. So, pwede dito yung group. Ayan. So, after this one, pwede natin i-resize. Kasi, as you can see dito, masyado malaki yung aking font. So, para sa cop. Uh, we can adjust the, the font. So, for this one, we can use siguro 0.2. Masyado malaki. Uh, 0.175. Ayan. So, pwede kayo gumamit ng 0.175 na font. Ayan. Ang susunod naman natin gagawin is yung ating uh, title ng ating project. So, ang title ng ating project is two-story residential house. So, by that, we can copy this one. Kasi ito yung naka-centered and dito sa ating uh, title is naka-centered din siya. So, we can move this one. So, after that, we can type our title. So, two-story residential 
residential house. Since ito ay masyadong malaki yung font, so we can adjust this one. Uh, let's try point 0.45. Masyadong malaki. 0.3. Uh, 0.25. So, sa 0.25 siya nag-fit. So, we can adjust this one by typing M, M for move. So, usad lang natin. Ayan. Meron na tayo ng ating title. Ang susunod naman is yung ating uh, sheet content. So, sa sheet content, we can copy this, no? Ayan, we can copy this one. So, CO. So, ang gagawin natin is select this uh, source point and then click natin dito. So, enter. Ayan. Ang susunod naman natin is iibahin natin yung context na ito. So, halimbawa, meron tayo ditong perspective. Tapos, meron pang uh, ground floor plan. Meron daw tayo ditong second floor plan. So, for example, we got this one. So, occupy to up to 5 or 6 ata. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, siguro kaya to ng 6 contents. Ayan, kasha na siya. So, same font lang din na 0.175. The next one is the date. So, sa date, sample ko lang yan. Uh, we can use this one. So, same lang din yung font. So, CO. Uh, click this one. And move it here. So, X, escape or enter. So, susunod naman dito is ibay na ito. So, magiging date. So, for example, we can use the date today. So, ang date today natin ngayon is uh, December 9, 2021. So, make sure na nakapasok dito. Dahil gagawin natin is yung date is naka-centered. So, mag-space kayo ng dalawa. Or tatlo. Para sa pangatlo is dito na natin ibahin yung ating uh, yung ating orientation. So, yung gagawin natin itong centered. And dito, dito na natin type yung ating date. So, for example, ang date natin is December 9. Uh... 2021. So, click and copy ulit natin to. So, same source point. So, dito ang source point and dito natin i-click. And then, the last one, I think, is the score. So, select natin to. And go natin score. So, naka-centered. I-buy natin siya. And, div it blank. Okay, so for the AutoCAD, ito kasi ay masyadong makapal. So, ibahin natin yung ating uh, line weight na text. So, yung text din kasi is my line weight. Uh, ang gagawin natin is select natin tong mga text. Yan, select natin to. And ang gagawin naman natin is, uh, we can change it in our line weight. So, kung line weight dito ginagamit ko kapag sa gantong manikis lang is 0.05. Okay, 0 0.05. And after that, we have now our title block na magagamit natin para sa ating um, AutoCAD works. Okay, so thank you so much guys for watching and I hope that you learned something from me. And I will see you in my next video. Peace.